new therapeutic strategies for ventricular remodeling in acute myocardial infarction and pressure overload, The Long Way to Heaven. Authored by Mariangela Peruzzi, Giuseppe Biondizake, Antonino G. M. Morello, Antonio Barretta, Sara Izzo, Pier Giusto Vitulli, and Giacomo Fratti. Background Despite the striking improvements recently achieved in the diagnosis and treatment of acute myocardial infarction, AMI, this condition remains a leading cause of death worldwide. The term ventricular remodeling refers to changes in ventricular geometry, dilation, sphericity, wall thinning, and stiffness, as well as molecular and functional changes including both cardiomyocytes, other cells of the heart and extracellular matrix. Over recent years much interest has been devoted to understanding the role and the pathways involved in the setting of the inflammation in AMI as well as in overload conditions but to date, however, there is a lack of real anti-inflammatory treatments for these conditions. Seropenetl Focusing on anti-inflammatory strategies for ventricular remodeling following ST segment elevation myocardial infarction, STEMI. More studies are needed to determine the most appropriate strategies to restore the inflammatory balance and ameliorate remodeling after acute myocardial infarction, AMI. The recent demonstration that cardiomyocytes are not terminally differentiated cells with the capacity to re-enter the cell cycle even in AMI models and the finding of a cardiac stem cell, CSCs, associated paracrine enhancement in tissue preservation and recruitment of endogenous repair strongly suggest that CSCs also might be involved in determining which patients respond favorably or not to early reperfusion strategy in routine clinical practice. A key role to be fully exploited in the modulation of heart inflammation toward anti-remodeling strategies may be represented by the synergistic combination of cardiac stem cells therapy and tissue engineering TE. This hopeful union seems thus to boost the sole protective role achieved from stem cells or TE in limiting myocardial remodeling. Focusing deeply on this topic, it is noteworthy to emphasize the key role of other important mediators in the recovery of cardiac function following AMI and overload conditions, cytokines, INTE grins, propoptotic genes, MMPs, PI3K, complement cascade, reactive oxygen species, ROS, microRNA mediating post transcriptional gene silencing, and last, the possible role of epigenomic changes that can explain a characteristic hallmark of heart failure, HF, i.e., altered gene expression. In conclusion, all these fields of research arise important questions of potential clinical impact as this complex picture is strongly supportive of a pivotal role of many factors in establishing an adequate and necessary inflammatory response to several pathological conditions. It will be paramount to carry out a nosiological step back to identify a representative cohort of patients in order to provide new important insights into physician patterns of practice related to recovery therapies, allowing customized strategies to be targeted to each specific patient.